This lawsuit spurs from a situation back in 2021 where four people were arrested after they used chalk and charcoal to write messages criticizing police on temporary walls that were outside SPD's East Precinct. And now with the graffiti law no longer able to be enforced, some business owners are concerned. Vula's Offshore Cafe has sat on North Lake Way for almost 40 years, but lately there have been new and unwelcomed additions to the building. We come in in the morning, we have to look around the building. Somebody has tagged it. We have a kit inside the restaurant that we take out and we wipe it down. Psyche Vlaho says graffiti is a constant battle for his cafe and other businesses near the University District and throughout Seattle. I want people to drive by, look at it, go, oh, that's pretty. And I don't want it to be, oh, that looks like a, an abandoned warehouse because it's graffitied all over the place. When he found out a U.S. District Judge issued a preliminary injunction this week no longer allowing police to enforce the city's graffiti law, he was concerned. You are graffitiing my building, or anybody's building for that matter, and it's, it's damaging the building. You should be responsible. Part of the injunction says the law is too vague and could criminalize numerous activities like signing a guest book to drawing in the sand on a beach to marking public utilities on the street. It goes on to say whether this conduct prompts criminal enforcement all depends on the whim of those enforcing the ordinance. This highlights the ordinance's impermissible vagueness. Up in the heart of the U District, the U District Partnership has people out cleaning graffiti every day. In a heavy month, we could take down as many as 1,600 graffiti tags. Don Blakeney says even when this law was being being enforced, the U District Partnership had taken it upon themselves to clean up the tagging for their neighborhood. It would be nice if the city had some sort of a, a, a superhero team that would, you know, come in and investigate who had done what and then go after folks and, you know, but it's just they never really have had that capacity. That one I can't get off. Back down at Vula's Offshore Cafe, Vlahos hopes the wording of the law can be figured out and that graffiti crimes can be enforced again. Now, with the situation as it is, not being able to prosecute them or pursue that, then it's just, it's, it's gone to the Wild West. In response to the preliminary injunction, Seattle police say they are working with the city attorney's office and Mayor Harrell to figure out how to best move forward. In the University District, Connor Board, King 5 News.